Well, the idea is now to see whether we can sort of get an overall uh, trend component. Can we estimate an overall trend component that varies over time just to allow for the changes of the mean in, um, in, in this time series? Well, to do that, we have to have a model in mind. And in this, uh, in, in this particular case, we think of a model where we have a trend and an irregular because other features are not apparent immediately from this uh, time series. So we're just thinking about a moving trend and beyond the moving trend, there's just only irregular noise. So we have, and that's what we call then in, uh, in, in as, a, as a statistical model, we call it the local level model. And that is what we need to tell the program that we want to fit this data with a local level model. And that is what you do by clicking on this pictogram here, model, or just go to model and uh, start modeling here with a Y. So select the Y. As you can see here, the Oxmetrix has various packages. Well, here for this, analysis we choose the option stamp and then once we have clicked on the pictogram of stamp you will see that the category of models in time series data has been highlighted and the model class is the unobserved components just what i said before so we formulate the model by now first again selecting the nile data so here by double clicking on the database on the nil variable. The selection has now a nil and there's a capital Y in front of it. And that capital Y indicates it is the dependent variable. It is the variable of interest, the variable that we want to analyze. So we click on nil and then we have a selection of basic components. Well, there are multiple components that you can select, but for this particular analysis, we're only interested in the level because we think that the level is time varying and there is not a particular trend in the time series or a slope. So we can deselect the slope here and we only select the level. And the irregular is highlighted. As I said, there are other components and I will look at these components uh, at in, in, in another example in a few minutes time. But for the moment, just keep on the defaults as they are and just click on OK. Then the only thing that we need to do is to say, well, we have selected the variable, but maybe we want to do a sort of a part of the time series. We don't want to analyze all the hundred observations, but only a part of it. And then you can sort of select here the first date and the last date for the analysis. Well, here we just keep the default, use all hundred observations in the data and click on OK. So there it is. And that is all what, uh, what it is about. You just click, you click the, 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 the components, uh, you click the variable, then you say estimate, and there it is. The program has now estimated the local level model for you using the null data, the black uh, line, that is the original data, the original time series. And the red line is the, um, is the estimated long-term mean uh, of the time series. And as you can see, it is time varying. The earlier years, the first 20, 30 years, it is somewhat higher. And then after 1900, it tends to sort of go down and then it stabilizes after 1910 up to a sort of a lower mean, a lower overall mean. So there was something like a structural break in 1900 or 1899, as I, uh, as I recall. And, um, and I will come back to that uh, date uh, just in a moment. The deviations from the trends, basically the differences between the black line and the red line in the upper picture, that is the irregular, that is basically the part that we have not explained via a, a stochastic time series process. So that is a component that the component that basically captures all the part that is not explained by the model. And that is what we call the uh, irregular, and that is the bottom picture that we view. And that looks pretty much random. There's not much information in it. Of course, we need to analyze that in more detail. We cannot only just look at the picture and, and, and then conclude that there's nothing in the, in the time series to, uh, to model. So we have diagnostics. I will show you that in a, in a moment. But this is the basic idea. Uh, decomposing a time series into different components, in this case, a level and an irregular.